case you hadn't heard yet, on the 15th of March, Tinder put out a post on its website saying that it's done away with the old ELO ranking system and implemented a brand new one, apparently based on fantastic new technology which is going to maximize the number of matches regular people can get on Tinder. So what does this mean for you? Is this new system really better? And most importantly, is there anything you now need to do differently to maximize the results you get? Keep watching to find out. So first up, let's do a little bit of a recap on what the ELO ranking system is or what it was. Uh, look, ELO is a ranking system that was originally devised for gaming tournaments, things like chess and tennis. Uh, and in the early days, Tinder co-opted this ranking system to, um, to enable it to rank where men and women would fall on a rank, you know, in a, in a scoring system, so that they could try to match the most attractive men with the most attractive women, or rather the highest ranked men and women with the highest ranked, you know, men and women on their system. And now, no one could ever say for sure what uh, what factors that the Tinder ELO ranking system would use, but from, you know, not just my own testing, a lot of people have tested this. You know, we've worked out, of course, and it shouldn't be a surprise, that obviously the attractiveness of your photos play a huge role how often you're online, how many women you, you get matched with. Um, it looks at things like, obviously, how many women you engage in conversations with and all that kind of stuff. We knew that it looked at these factors. We don't quite know how it combined them, but they're all important to some degree and it used them to rank you. Unfortunately, this system hasn't turned out to work too well and you may have noticed. I mean, there's been a huge amount of backlash, not just from myself, but from, from guys everywhere sort of noting that with the way the system currently works on Tinder, that it's only the top 10, 20% of guys who get many matches and the, the lower 80% kind of have to deal with a couple of matches, if any at all, on Tinder. So Tinder has, has had to do something to try to remedy this. So this new system or this new post, what does it suggest this new system does? <laughs> well, unfortunately, it's horrifically vague. It's kind of like, hey, we've done away with the old system that was horrible and now we've implemented a new system which you've got no idea how it works. Well, look, they gave us two hints, two hints about changes they've made, and I think these could be potentially positive changes. The first thing that it says is going to start paying attention to location, geography. So what it says it's going to do is it's going to look at who is closest to you, and it's going to start to give them priority. So if you're on Tinder and there's a girl two doors down from you, then in theory, it should show you her profile first before it shows you women's profiles who are 10 kilometers away or 10 miles away. Why is this good? Well, it's good because, in theory, what it would mean is that guys who have a low-ranked profile now may have a better chance of being seen by women who are really close by. Will it work? Will it mean that if you've got a profile of 4 out of 10, are you going to be shown to women who are... Like, if you've got a woman who lives next door, are you going to be... Is she going to see your profile before she sees the profile of a guy who's a 9 out of 10 who lives 10 kilometers away? I don't know. I don't know how strong this ranking is going to be based on location, but it could be a step in the right direction. The other factor Tinder has said it's going to start looking at much more closely when it comes to who sees whose profiles, it's going to look at who's online at the same time. So what this means is that if you're online at 4 a.m. in the morning on Tinder and there's another woman online on Tinder at 4 a.m., she's going to be shown your profile before other guys' profiles who haven't been online in like six, seven hours, in theory. So that's great. And again, the same thing. How strong will that ranking be? You know, if you've, if you've got a really poorly ranked profile, will women still see you? Will you, you still get a chance? Because up till now, what's happened is a lot of guys, women just aren't seeing their profiles at all because the ranking isn't good enough. But if the geography based ranking and the, the, the online, the temporal based ranking is strong enough, that could prove a huge boon. Now, what will that mean going forward? Well, it's going to mean, first of all, that it's going to be well worth your time to use Tinder in a variety of different locations. If you're on the train, use Tinder now for a little bit. If you're in the office, use Tinder for a little bit. If you're at home, use Tinder for a little bit. If you're out at a bar, use Tinder for a little bit. Now, a number of guys used to do this consistently anyway, like just using Tinder all over the place. But now it could become a tactic or a strategy to use to match with a range of different types of women. So that's the first thing. The other thing is it's going to start to really pay off to use Tinder at a range of different times. So with the old system, it used to be very good advice to hop onto Tinder when most women were going to be online because you wanted to match with women when they're online so you get 
in a conversation with them then and there. Now, if Tinder's going to show you women, more, more likely women who happen to be online, it might be better to, if you've got a low ranked profile, it might actually be better to use Tinder when there's not so much competition. Because obviously at 8 p.m. at night, 9 p.m. at night, that's when all the hottest guys are on, right? And probably all the hottest girls. But I shouldn't say all the hottest girls, just the greatest volume of men are online at 9 o'clock. This is the greatest volume of women. But that means the greatest volume of competition. So maybe hopping on Tinder at lunchtime or at 10 a.m. in the morning could prove really like really powerful for guys with low rankings because all of a sudden they're going to have a better chance of getting seen by women because not as there's not as much competition. So that could be really cool. Could be. I mean, we're going to have to see how this plays out. And, you know, message for all the guys watching, Tinder is going to end up rolling this out in stages, in regions. So there's no guarantee that we in Australia, like I'm in Australia in Sydney right now, no guarantee we have the new ranking system here. I'm going to try to play with it, see what I can learn, but I think it's going to be slow going. Do I think there's going to be any other ramifications? Like, there are, are there any other changes that you should make to the way you build out and use Tinder? And the short answer, no, I doubt it. Because after all, it's not like Tinder is going to start penalizing guys for having really great profiles, right? It's not gonna, like Tinder's going to start saying, oh, like lots of women find you attractive. Well, you're going to be punished for that. It's, it's not going to happen. So yes, having a really fantastic Tinder profile photo is still going to be Likely, the number one most important thing you can do to get matches on Tinder. Now, I know a lot of guys struggle with their Tinder photos, and I've got an entire 21-point cheat guide that I've created for guys. You can go ahead and download it now. I'll put the link up here. Put the link down in the comments below as well. But go ahead and download that. That's still going to be one of the most important factors. It's not going to be the only factor, however. So, obviously, Tinder is still going to want to reward guys who behave on Tinder in the way that women are going to appreciate. So, for example, responding to women you've matched with is still going to be ranked. Um, You know, being online regularly is still going to be ranked because Tinder isn't going to want to show profiles to women of guys who are really online. So these kind of things are are still going to be important. Everything that was important is still important, but now there could be some new extra strategies and guys with lower ranked profiles are going to start a better chance. Only time's going to tell. So guys, have you heard anything about the new Tinder ranking system that you think I should know about. I'd love to hear about it. Have you done any tests? Have you had any experiences that seem like something is really changing? Let me know because I will test. If you've had any experiences, I'm going to test it as well and see if I can replicate your results. Let me know in the comments below, guys. If you liked this video, if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm Damien Deke, guys. Have a fantastic day.